What causes high TDS in swimming pools, or total dissolved solids? Well, total dissolved solids in swimming pool water are just as they sound. Basically, anything that you add to the swimming pool, whether it be chlorine or salt or something to fix the pH or some algaecide that you bought or any other chemicals that you add to the water, all increase the amount of total dissolved solids in the water. And as that number goes up, it will become problematic at some point. You will consume more chlorine than you used to, and the chemical corrections that you used to do will not have as much effect on the water in total. So you could say that the water becomes unmanageable at some point. And it used to be that you would say at 2,500 parts per million total dissolved solids, well, that's getting too high and you should probably partially drain and refill with some fresh water. But with how popular salt chlorine systems are on swimming pools these days, you can't really use that metric anymore because you will be adding 3,000 plus parts per million of salt to your water right away. So right away you're over and above that 2,500 marker that we used to use. So you could consider perhaps when your total dissolved solid levels raise 1,000 to 1,500 parts per million above what your fresh clean fill water is, at that point, you should think about partially draining and refilling to keep your TDS levels under control. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.